You ever love somebody so much that it it's toxic? Like the more you do it, the more you like it, but in the end, it's just harming you. Hey guys, this is your reading for the upcoming month from August 22nd through September 22nd. This reading is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, guys. We're going to get started with a Celtic cross and see what's going on with you guys right now. What's going on around you? What's going on around Cancers currently? Seven of Cups. Emotionally confused. I do feel like there's there are some things that you need to make some decisions on but you're really not sure how you feel about these different things that you need to um, decide upon this is Scorpio energy here I feel like this very I don't know rushed energy though like you need to decide soon or you may miss out is what I'm feeling here let's see what's crossing you guys it's crossing cancer it's crossing cancer six of cups you guys are reminiscing reminiscing about somebody I feel that um, it, there's something like out of balance between you and this person strong Scorpio energy here um, there's something out of balance with you and this person and I feel like it, with the seven cups energy you're, you're trying to decide the best decision for you okay with the seven of cups but what's crossing you is the six of cups and this is like you know sharing your energy with someone and being selfless thinking about um, past times with this person feeling like this is a soulmate for you and maybe there's some things that you 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 may need to change up in order to to be with this person because I get that you have a history with this person okay you guys may not have been in an intimate relationship for a very long time but you've known this person I feel for a while and they they feel like family to you there's a different kind of connection here with the Six of Cups energy, okay? What is the underlying issue for Cancer? The Magician, the issue is you guys need to use your wits. Use, you know, whatever skills that you have. The Magician is an active energy, so um, I feel like the ball is in your court. It's up to you if you want this. It's up to you, you guys, to make this happen. To use all your capabilities, all the tools in your tool belt, and make this shit happen. You have to want it for it to happen. It's what I'm getting. The issue is decide what you want and make it happen. Okay? Gemini energy there. In the recent past for my cancer, the recent past for my cancers. Ace of Cups. I feel that honestly, this, like I said, this is somebody that you have a history with. I feel like this is also somebody that you walked away from. Okay. But here recently, there's like this new, new spark for this person. Um, a new emotional um, depth for this person but it's almost like an aha moment is what I'm seeing here there's something about this person that you're seeing I feel that you possibly did not see before and I feel like you guys are becoming um, smitten with this person a lot of emotions going on up in here. The issue is there's no action being taken towards what it is that you you know in your gut that you want. Okay, you got to speak on it. 
and you've got to do what is necessary um, because you can't sit on your hands if you want it you know let's see crowning thoughts for cancer okay it's not coming together fast enough crowning thoughts for cancer yeah it's having a hard time coming together Knight of Cups, you want to tell this person exactly how you feel. I feel like there's a rush here. In your head and in your heart, it's like, I need to do this and I need to do this shit now. You know, but there's something I feel that's holding you back. And maybe it's a fact that, you know, you do have other options that are on the table. And sometimes, you know, you don't want to make a decision for fear of making the wrong decision that, you know, there may be, excuse me, somebody better out there for you or either this other person could possibly be the one for you. But you can't live your life on possibilities, you know. You have to follow your gut and just go. Just go. Because whatever is happening in that moment, that's what's meant to happen. Okay? So, yeah. Thinking with your head all the time in regards to love, um, you know, love's not logical. You do want to use your head because you just don't want to, you know, jump into a freaking volcano. But if you are constantly thinking about this person and, you know, when you think about this person, it's like this. If you pull up to a store and you see this person's car, how would you feel? Does it make you happy inside? Think about that. Or pull up at, let's say you were with this person or you see this person currently. And when you pull up to see them, even if you guys are not in a serious relationship, but when you pull up and you see their car, how do you feel? Are you happy? Or is it just like, okay, they're home, you know, your gut's telling you something. Trust it, okay? What's coming in for Cancer? What's coming in for Cancer? Two of Swords need to make a decision. This is refusing to make a decision. This is not really, you know, it, her hands are behind her back. Just kind of gazing off into the distance and you know having these thoughts about what to do and not doing it just not doing it just kind of like needing more time so I still see you contemplating and not making a decision one way or the other you know with these options that you have on the table here this Libra energy there <clears throat> how's cancer viewing this situation High Priestess. <sighs> this is really getting to you, I feel. Um, you want to go with your, your gut instinct, your intuition, but you're keeping it to yourself. All of these feelings, I feel, this person has no clue that you are even considering them at this point. You're keeping this to yourself here with this High Priestess energy. Not talking. Not sharing your thoughts. Not sharing your wants. Piscean energy here. Also I feel um, Gemini. Gemini is here. Gemini is definitely here. Scorpio, Libra, <clears throat> What's the influence for Cancer? What is the influence for Cancer? Five of Pentacles. You guys have been hurt. Um, but the thing is, you don't want to be rejected, is the thing. Um, you want, you know, even if the finances aren't great or if you guys haven't spent like a whole lot of time together, you want this person to give this a chance. You want this person to give you some time. Are they going to be willing to, 
to put in the effort, to put in the time? Are they going to ride with you? Are they going to be a ride or die? Whether you broke or whether you got all the money in the world, the point is, are they going to be there for you through the tough times? And I feel like that is what you are really kind of like weighing here with these options. Yeah, I feel, you know, very strongly for this person, but I mean, can they sustain? Can we sustain? Are they going to bolt when things get tough? Because you want stability is what I'm sensing here. You, you just want a very... Um, concrete situation hopes or fears for cancer this is Taurus energy hopes or fears for cancer okay I'll take that one eight of cups your fear I feel that if you come back or because I'm, I'm definitely getting there's a sense that you guys walked away from this person at some point because we have the eight of cups here and now the eight of cups is showing up here Okay, if you come back with this person and you offer your cup, you offer your love, that this person will not offer you theirs, that they will reject you once again. That is a fear. I feel like the emotional, um, like you, I don't know if you guys hurt this person or feel like you hurt this person offended this person before and maybe you feel like they got a little get back in them or something but there is definitely um, a fear of being rejected and being hurt by this person like retaliation or something is is what I'm feeling like they'll walk away or something like that <clears throat> so overall outcome Piscean energy showing up again overall outcome for cancer six of swords I like it I like it being able to work through things discuss things calmly and not really you know talking about the past and dwelling on the past but just talking through issues and moving forward I definitely feel like this person feels the same about you and I feel like they would be um, receptive of whatever it is that you guys are, are trying to do and want to talk things out with you, want to work things out with you. I'm definitely getting that this person wants to have a conversation with you as well, but I think you guys, you know, you're going to have to be that, that, um, the captain, okay, and guide this ship seriously okay so we have Aquarius Pisces Scorpio is very strong Taurus Libra Gemini energy okay guys so that is what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you guys soon bye now uh, I've been blind too long now I finally see the real and fake who's down for me the situation wasting my time I had enough, I'm tired of the lies Blah, 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 da-da-da-da-da What are you saying?